Okay, so in this video, as you can see from the title, it's going to be my top 10 Tom Cruise films. Um, so when I was younger, I kind of always just assumed that Tom Cruise was an action star and, a, you know, he only made like blockbuster movies and stuff. But the more I got into film and the more I, movies I watched, I kind of realized that he had been involved in a lot of, uh, you know, actually really great movies and um, with, you know, amazing directors and stuff. Um, so I just wanted to make this video and uh, point out my, what I think his 10 best films are. And also a quick uh, disclaimer, I've actually never seen um, uh, All the Right Moves and Far and Away. So um, just wanted to put that out there. So it is possible that one of those two films or, or whatever could potentially change the list in the future, but um, I've seen pretty much everything else. So yeah. All right, so my number 10, I chose The Color of Money. Um, and this is a Scorsese film. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, but I would say Newman is more of the star of the movie. And Cruz is, is, is kind of a, like a sidekick role. But he does do a really good job, especially with um, uh, playing pool. Like his pool skills are, if, if, if most of the shots are actually him doing the things, um, then he did, you know, a really good job learning, um, which I find actually in a lot of Tom Cruise movies, I feel like he loves a challenge of learning something new for that, for that particular film. And in this one, it's pool. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of get the impression that he's really uh, ambitious and driven in that sense. Um, yeah, so this is my number 10. Really, really solid uh, Scorsese film. Okay, uh, my number nine I actually don't own. So I'll put the picture up now. Um, but yeah, so my, my number nine is American Made. Um, I kind of uh, went into this film not expecting much. Um, because, uh, uh, it's kind of, he made this film, you know, in between doing a whole bunch of action blockbuster movies. Um, so I was like skeptical about it, but after watching it, I was really pleasantly surprised. Um, he does a really good job. Um, there's some really standout, um, scenes and, um, yeah, just overall really enjoyed it. It's a pleasant surprise to me. So go check that one out. Okay, my number eight is A Few Good Men. Um, yeah, I really like this uh, this one, especially uh, Jack Nicholson. Um, he just plays his part really well. Um, and just the whole case itself is really um, kind of interesting. And um, uh, the... You know, the whole courtroom scenes are really well made and everything. And also I wanted to point out the um, the opening sequence with the, um, like, with all the, uh, the uh, troops, or I guess you would call them, um, are, you know, doing their thing and spinning their um, guns and stuff. I think that whole sequence is amazing. It's one of the best, like, you know, opening uh, segments that I've ever seen. Okay, so that's my number eight. My number seven, I chose Days of Thunder. This one for me was another pleasant surprise. Um, I kind of was just expecting a, a like a typical like um, race car movie, and and I mean it is. Like you definitely get you definitely get a race car movie <laughs> but um just some of the scenes and some of the the uh just performances and stuff to me that were really great um and I, it overall it really entertained me um especially um 
I wanted to talk about the scene where um, Tom Cruise and, uh, sorry, I don't know the, the other actor's name, but basically his, um, it's kind of like his, his arch rival of the, of the whole film. But, um, when they're racing down the hall in their, um, wheelchairs, <laughs> I was just like, like, oh, I was dying laughing about that. I found that really hilarious. But yeah. And also it's a cool, has a cool, um, part with uh, Nicole Kidman in it and um, yeah it's another uh, I, th I guess they've made three films together in total that I can think of but yeah so um, that's my number seven number six I chose cocktail now this is probably the most um, guilty pleasure of them all um, because I know it's like kind of like a cheesy, like romantic comedy. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to describe this film, but but I really did enjoy it. Um, uh, basically, it's just about uh, a struggling bartender, you know, having dreams of um, opening up his own business one day. And um, I mainly love this too for just the the whole vibe of, uh, like, uh, the eighties and, um, the, um, like all the fashion. Um, there's also a really incredible scene with, um, him singing, uh, addicted to love, um, as he's bartending. And I, I just, <laughs> that scene alone it made me, made me love the movie. And, um, yeah, there's just some really good, uh, I feel like all the, the scenes where he's bartending are just really entertaining. And um, also I wanted to point out, uh, there's a, a kind of like a cameo um, or a small part of uh, Crystal Connors from um, Showgirls. I don't know the actress's name right now, but um, she, so Showgirls is one of my favorite movies and she has a, a little tiny part in this. So I also thought, it was, thought that was cool. Yeah, so that's, that was my six, I believe. Okay, my number five, I chose Magnolia. It was pretty much impossible to keep this off the list. Um, a Paul Thomas Anderson film. Um, and I know he has, his part is, you know, relatively small, but um, the fit, just the film in general is, is really great. It's like an epic um so I think it's around three hours. Yeah, it's three hour, over three hours. But yeah, uh, if you haven't seen this, I would recommend it. But um, yeah, he just, Tom Cruise plays a kind of like an asshole character, but like you can tell that there's like, there's like some deep, you know, dark past going on and <clears throat> kind of explains why he's such a prick. But um, yeah, I think he plays a really good part in this. Okay, my number four, I chose Vanilla Sky. So I just got to reposition here. Um, yeah, I chose this one uh, because it also was a pleasant surprise. Um, uh, basically, it's just uh, about Tom Cruise's character and you kind of like, uh, from what I can remember, he's, I think he is like a successful businessman or something. But anyways, he kind of makes, actually, I can't really say too much or else uh, I might give something away. But, um, but yeah, there's a, there was one really shocking part. If you've seen this, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and Penelope Cruz does a really good job too. But, um, Yeah, I really liked, my favorite parts of the movie were um, when you see him after the accident. Um, just, uh, yeah, I found all that section of the movie really, uh, really fascinating. And how he wears that uh, weird, like, mask and everything. <laughs> yeah, I think he just played a really good uh, part in this film. 
So yeah, that's my number four. My number three is Rain Man. I really love this film. Um, I mean, Dustin Hoffman, Hoffman is more the star of the show, but it's actually both of them together, the way they um, interact is really what makes the movie fun. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one a lot. Um, uh, let me think, and just some of the the scenes with um, Hoffman and Cruz like bickering and stuff on their as they're traveling around is like oh it's really hilarious. Um, I think it, overall, you know, it's an amazing film, and I'm really intrigued with uh, Dustin Hoffman lately. I'm, I've been trying to go through his catalog and uh, check out all the stuff he's done. So yeah. Love that one. My number two, I chose the classic Risky Business. Um, yeah, this one, it just is so much fun. Um, especially like if you're like a teenager and uh, it's, it's definitely one of those um, coming of age movies, but I just really love it. It's it's probably more of like a guy's film, but but I think everyone can enjoy it. And um, obviously, you know, the scene of him dancing is just just like so entertaining. Because um, it's like he's just completely like doing whatever he wants. Like you know, the the confidence of uh, of that scene is just just hilarious. But anyways, okay, that's my number two. And my number one, of course, you know, I'm I'm sure everyone can guess, uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Um, it's probably my favorite, favorite film of all time. So, you know, there's no surprise for me that it was number one. Um, but uh, this one, you know, just blew me away watching it. Um, I just kept thinking about it uh, for weeks after, um, trying to piece it all together. And um, uh, I was looking up on YouTube and stuff, different people's opinions of um, and little things that you might have missed here and there. Um, and it just makes you realize even more how genius it is. Um, there's so many little things that I didn't catch uh, on a first watch. It's one of those, you know, one of those films you got to kind of watch a few times and you can find things more that you missed. It's like a big, like, just uh, jigsaw puzzle. Um, yeah, so if if you're interested, I would definitely recommend um, uh, checking out some of those YouTube videos that are kind of deep diving into, into little clues and stuff. Um, yeah, so... There's nothing that could top this for me. Um, and obviously it's a Stanley Kubrick film. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention about the uh, Risky Business film is um, I find it interesting, the director, I, for, I forget his name, something Brickman, Paul Brickman. Um, this was his first film and he, it's amazing. He did an amazing job. And I think he only made like one other uh, full feature and then one TV movie or something. But I'm just really curious why that is like when I feel like he could have been a really successful director, maybe, you know, I don't know. I'll have to look that up, but, uh, yeah. Anyways. So yeah, Eyes Wet Shut is my number one. And I just wanted to do a quick couple shout outs here of, Films that, uh, you know, I think he does a, he has a great part in or, or just good films in general. Um, so I wanted to shout out uh, the original Mission Impossible. Um, it's a Brian De Palma film, which I found interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I like that film. Um, and the, the, uh, the train sequence at the end is, is really well done. Um, I wanted to shout out Interview with the Vampire. Um, plays a really cool vampire part in that. Um, I wanted to shout out uh, War of the Worlds, 
just for, I feel like he has some really good acting scenes in that. And he plays um, a dad character really well in that, I've, I found. Um, the next one is obviously the the weird little part he has in Tropic Thunder. It's just like hilarious. Um, and I wanted to shout out uh, also Jerry Maguire for having, um, you know, had a lot of uh, memorable lines in it that have like gone down in history. And, uh, and yeah, it's kind of a cool little romantic comedy or whatever. Yeah, so those are my top 10. Uh, let me know what you think yours are down below. And I'll see you guys next time.